My name is Cade Hogg, and I'm the band and choir and social studies teacher at Winston Churchill High School. And my name is Tracy Wong. I work as principal here at Winston Churchill High School. And Kate and I are here to tell you about a project we're really proud of uh, that has just gone up in our school. So about a year ago, Kate and I were talking about how we connect um, our students and our school to the land on which we live, which is Blackfoot Territory, and the importance of acknowledging where we live and bringing nature into our school. Um, we've done quite a bit of learning about Indigenous ways of knowing and our understanding is that land is incredibly important um, in thinking about where we are in the world and who we are in the world. And so it was important for us to connect to the land and we wanted to bring nature into our school. So around those um, conversations, I got in touch with a photographer named Tom Buchanan in Coaldale and he came in, looked at our wall and said it was pretty big wall, um, but he felt that, that we could put something up on the wall that would be meaningful uh, to our community. And so Tom uh, sent us to his website and he had a lot of beautiful pictures there, but we wanted something that didn't have typical Lethbridge architecture in it. We wanted it to just be the land and so as much as we love our high level bridge and barns and fences, we wanted to find something that really just connected us to the land. And so Tom went out last summer and took hundreds of photos. Um, and the photo that he uh, ended up getting us was out of Cottonwood Park, uh, which is just east of Paradise Canyon. And um, his process was putting about 12 different photos together digitally and then sending that off to a printer who put it into um, a high industrial vinyl and then they heat shrunk it onto the wall for us. We want our community to know deeply where we live in southern Alberta on traditional lands of the Blackfoot, Blackfoot people and how beautiful these lands are and that these lands are here for us to explore and enjoy and uh, be in relationship with. So we want our students to know that you can go here. You can go to the west side and head to Cottonwood Park and enjoy this place. Well, the other thing that I would say is that our kids have given us feedback on numerous surveys about how nature is healing for them. And so we talk a lot about how we incorporate um, outdoor classrooms into school spaces, into schools. And for us, our hope is that this also helps um, create a sense of calm in our school. Because when you sit in here and look at this beautiful picture, I know I feel a sense of calm. Mm -hmm. It's been really neat to see students who just poke their head in while it's going up and just how taken aback they are, how beautiful it is, and that, wow, that's in our school. Mm -hmm. We have just a couple other things to finish. The windows will be covered with a perforated vinyl so you can see through it, but the picture will continue through. And then we've, our archery class uses this space, and so there's a protective curtain that they hang off of it, and there's some brackets that need to be covered. Um, but once that's finished, it's ready to be enjoyed by our whole community. I think the last thing we'd like to say is we're just very grateful to Tom Buchanan um, for the many, many hours uh, that he spent um, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes <laughs> and going out and trying different times of the day to just get the perfect uh, picture. And I really think that he has.